Majestic landmarks by Beethoven and Brahms are the focus of this CSO program led by Riccardo Muti. Beethoven did some of his best work under deadline pressure, and this was certainly the case with his violin concerto in D major. It was commissioned by leading virtuoso Franz Clement for a concert in December 1806. Beethoven labored over the score until the last possible moment before the concert. It's believed that Clement had to play from the manuscript and sight-read the finale. Not surprisingly, the performance was no great success, and it wasn't until 1844, when another virtuoso, Josef Joachim, took it up, that the piece finally started to catch on. While there are more demanding concertos in the canon, Beethoven's is distinctive. It opens with five soft beats on timpani, which may point to the influence of French military music. The first two movements have a mood of tranquility and mystery, with subtle contrasts and touches of color. The rondo finale skips along with a folk dance refrain and hunting calls in the horns. Anna Sophie Mutter is our soloist. The aging process was tough on poor Johannes Brahms. Photos from his young adulthood to middle age tell much of the tale. This period roughly straddled the creation of his first symphony. Brahms initially resisted writing a symphony, aware of the crushing weight of expectation that it brought in the post-Beethoven era. It didn't help that in 1853, his well-meaning friend, Robert Schumann, published a review hyping the 20-year-old Brahms as the heir to Beethoven's musical legacy. But Brahms couldn't let go of the symphony. A turning point came when he sent Clara Schumann a birthday card from the Bernese Alps. It contained a sketch of the joyful horn call from the finale, along with the words, thus blew the shepherd's horn today. After 22 years of on and off work, the first symphony was nearly complete. It was bursting in Brahmsian hallmarks, whether the brooding and restless first movement or the song-like intermezzo of the third. Brahms arranged for the 1876 premiere not in Vienna but in Karlsruhe, Germany, under the direction of Otto Dessoff.